Okay, everybody. So now today we're going to be talking about um, the federal police and how they're acting at this time. Apparently, they're acting out. And so um, there's a review today on that by Juan Carlos Solano, the Charro Politico. So let's go ahead and start. Hola amigos, bienvenidos a El Charro Político. Yo soy Juan Carlos Solano y el día de hoy hablar de Policía Nación que les voy a platicar. Y es que los policías federales vuelven a dar de qué hablar. Ahora le mandan videos y mensajes ofensivos y violentos al presidente Andrés Manuel. So now Manuel, the police are sending offensive and violent videos to the president because they're angry that he uh, closed up the federal police. And uh, so they've been uh, writing messages. So she says, for me, this is Oops, can't get it going. Uh, the way they said it to her, it sounded like a threat. What did the president of Mexico say? Why are the Mexicans worried de que tomen represalia a los policías federales because they're worried that the uh, press, I'm sorry, the uh, policemen, the federal police are going to be take, trying to take revenge. Quédate conmigo porque lo tienes que saber. She says, stay with me because you have to know this. So now my loving charritos, we're going to start with the information of today's news. But before starting, I want to tell you we've got an honored guest. So uh, this is Polo Buga from Politica. It's a very good uh, channel. So she's thanking him for coming. Polo Buga. I know you have a, a very strict public. I say it in a good sense. It's a very important matter that we're going to deal with today. I'm very happy and anxious to be able to bring up this matter. So listen, friends, that in the, in the web, they are having, uh, uh, there's a web uh, video that's circulating, and uh, now she's going to tell us about that. So we're going to show you the video and it's very lamentable, uh, but they're going to show it to us. So she wants to, it shows how a great quantity of the police behave. Imagine that they would insult and uh, make threats toward the threats towards the president Luego de que de ellos no los because a lot of them did not pass the exams to go into the de control, para poder for control and confidence you know uh, to show that they were worthy unir a la policía fed. so that they could join with the, yeah. no sé, uh, al respecto, este with the national guard antes de empezar a so what is your opinion before we show these videos? Son unos videos sí muy sensibles, este mira. Creo que ya se So he says yes, these very videos are very sensitive. Juncal, I want you to Yo uh, entre la exigencia mis derechos el respeto. So I think they got confused with the demanding of their rights and with the respeto hacia mis derechos and respecting my rights con ofensa. Una with 
offending. It's one thing for the president to be willing to listen to you and have dialogue, a circular dialogue, as he says. So this doesn't mean that you can cross the line and be disrespectful to a presidential institution. Qué delicado es darnos cuenta que en este tipo de personas es... And how delicate is it to uh, find out that these type of people estaba la seguridad tuya, la mía, la... Our security was dependent upon these people, yours, mine, our families, hijos, our personas, children, de los niños, de los abuelos, uh, y... our, grand, our children, our grandparents. And another important point, ¿Cómo se están llevando entre las patas este grupo pequeño que están solamente buscando hacer un golpeteo mediático? And how these people, this small portion or group, are taking uh, or trampling with their feet the... A los policías que de verdad tienen pasión y vocación por lo que hacen. These policemen that actually have a passion and love their vocation of being police officers. And I'm totally in agreement with that. That I agree that it's one thing to demand your rights and to uh, demand dialogue, but from the moment when I saw that they uh, assaulted and they attempted to uh, injure Patricia uh, Trujillo, who was now the coordinator of the National Guard. Anybody that would want dialogue or something passive would not go to aggression like that and, and lack of respect. So again, the uh, national, the uh, police gave people something to talk about because they called the president pendejo, which is a very bad word in Spanish. Um, uh, I guess it it would be kind of like the F word in in in, in like F an idiot, kind of like that. También no solamente eso, sino amenazarlo, que le desearan mucha suerte y a ver cómo le iba. And additionally, they threatened him and they said, we wish you uh, much luck because let's see how it goes when you uh, Unos minutos, publicamos un have your in político. inauguration for your National Guard. Inclusive, los policías federales le lanzan una amenaza al presidente de que se van a unir al crimen organizado. They even threatened that they would we're going to uh, join organized crime Al de que la as soon as the federal police is done away with. Entonces, esto es muy this is very important esto genera pavor entre la gente and it generates uh, terror amongst the people Porque, pues, son que because there are these police that know our strategies they, they have, um, uh, like, they have knowledge and they have, they know people. And it could bring chaos to our security. And it's going to give a lot of work to the National Guard. So they're going to start now with a video that says like this. So in this video that's circulating in the wide uh, World Wide Web, web uh, they uh, say to uh, President in a very angry tone that he has given, he turned his back on the federal agents, uh, members of this, uh, a member of this corporation records his his um, 
uh, co-workers and he asked them to um, to give him a ride to his base he's angry and he calls President AMLO uh, pendejo graba a sus compañeros para pedir apoyo. Enojado le dice pendejo a López Obrador. Vamos desglosando el video. So now they're going to put the video on. So he says that they're, these uh, guys are leaving and they're asking for a ride to get to where they need to go. And they're turning their back on us and we need to support our uh, uh, buddies. He says because they're turning their backs on us. And we ask for all our other buddies, uh, policemen, to support us. He says, and I hope that on the day of the ceremony, that's for the National Guard, and he says, and that we will all get together and do what we need to. and turn our backs on uh, the uh, uh, López Obrador. Hey, um, sorry, can I call you right back? I'm, I'm recording. Okay, call you right back. So that was the video that we wanted to show you. So, they, so you can see that they are, number one, they're threatening uh, that on the day of the uh, ceremony they're going to, they're going to get united to um, be a counterweight to the National Guard. And that's a very strong threat. And to say that uh, bad word to López Obrador, who wants to be peaceful and he wants to dialogue, and that nobody uh, that has nothing to fear uh, would have any problem. What I noticed when you were running this video, that his co-workers don't even pay attention to him. And so it looks like his um, co-workers aren't even like uh, paying attention to what he's saying. That's why they don't have confidence in the federal police. For me, it's not a coincidence that that during this whole meeting that they did this week, that the name of Felipe Calderón kept coming up. And when you hear that, you think, oh, there's something wrong going on here. So you can already tell there's something going on. It's politics. And there's there's some kind of caged animal here. And so the people are losing credibility, or the, the uh, federal police are losing credibility with the people. But even from the point that uh, Felipe Calderón was mentioned, I already knew something was wrong with this whole thing. Mira, de entrada, Juncal, sabemos que la sociedad civil, la gente, 
tenemos una muy mala imagen de cualquier corporación, ¿eh? de cualquier... So, as you know, the people, we already have bad images in our mind of any corporation. Yeah. De los federales en específico más. Por... But in uh, relations to the federal uh, police, even more so because Quedan mordidas en las carreteras. because they ask you for rides on the roads. So here they've taken all the police, uh, the ones that are, you know, different areas for the roads, for uh, general things. They're all kind of joined together. Entonces, esa mala imagen, lo único que lograron es que la gente sacara ese rencor que tiene hacia la corporación y los... So, this behavior, all it did was make uh, people more aware of their bad feelings uh, and uh, um, rencor that they have towards the police. Han exhibido con una infinidad de memes, de videos reales, de policías abusando del poder. There's been lots of videos of the police abusing and making uh, video meme jokes. Abuses of authority by the police. And they have videos of them taking the bribes. And this turned out to be something uh, contrary to what they expected or wanted. If there was even a little uh, bit of credibility now, se les acabó. It has ended totally. I'm totally in agreement. Because of some, all are losing. So here's some more offensive acts. They said they're getting ready to have breakfast. So, so there's, they're saying bad words. They're saying, doing these messages of dirty words. And they said they were, he, it generates panic with the people. So they can't just be taking Mexicans for granted and thinking they're idiots. There's several messages where people have had bad experiences with the federal police. There's so, this hurts not only this institution, but so many institutions have failed us, the Mexicans, that are corrupt and that it's truly, it's lamentable. So here's the note that says Felipe Calderón is planning something with uh, joined up with the pol federal police. They were even asking that be he be their leader in this whole movement, which brings her back to the same point. From its initiation, it gave me a bad vibe. And that um, picture says the dirty uh, face of the uh, federal police. So they're saying that it was during the the uh, time that Felipe Calderón was president 
that the uh, federal police truly became corrupt and there was um, and this part on the top it talks about how there was uh, groups interest groups and they were using uh, making a millionaire uh, uh, contracts and, um, and what else well anyway that part there so far and it lost its structure and he also militarized the streets when he declared the the fight against the narcotic war so they the military the federal police said they couldn't handle it and they said they needed something stronger so they and now they're saying that they're uh, the saintly uh, patronage So here we're all accustomed and we don't like to work under laws. They don't like to be put in a line when they're out of control. So now Lopez Obrador comes in and tells them, hey, the matter of security has to be dealt with and you can't just put it in the hands of anybody. It has to be people that are aptly um, have the capacity. And they didn't like it, so they called their little chief, who is Valderipe Calderon, so he can come help them. So when it comes to that, it, this is well the the federal police is supposed to be working for the people um, not for Felipe Calderón or Enrique Peña Nieto that's the the chip that wasn't working quite right for them for the federal police and now that Lopez Obrador came into power, they didn't like it. They didn't like these rules that he gave them, so effectively they began. And that's how we got into this situation. So first of all, he became an iconic uh, uh, personage like in this note. So um, they, they in this one says they are linked to uh, kidnapping the leader of the protest of the federal police. Um, is what uh, Durazo is accusing, uh, and he points towards the activism of Calderon. So this policeman that was uh, running all the protests uh, was the kidnapper. So they're saying, oh my goodness, well, you don't even have a place to speak. And you don't have the morals uh, to be in, in uh, this movement. And they also said that it was policemen that were protesting, however, and they said that these policemen had already been discharged or fired from their jobs. And they were inviting them to come and protest and to, to make a crazy uh, uh, out, outbreak. 
and that they were going to pay them. Or also the policemen or the federal police that did not pass the exams or evaluations. And also that they didn't pass to go into the National Guard, so they were coming to protest. So things that they didn't want to let us know are now coming out and now it's not going for them the way they were hoping. It's a difficult and sad thing because we're talking about the security. They said a lot of people are probably just saying, okay, let the matter go now. But you can't because these are bad situations and they hurt us and uh, and they're part of the joints that are important of a country. Because if you don't have security in a country, you have no development. So we need to be very attentive and united. United, it's the most important thing. If you see anything happening in any city, uh, let us know. But let let the let, uh, turn them into the to the uh, proper authorities, or tell tell it in the commentaries here. There's various numbers of us that have lived situations with the police. You know they've blackmailed. That's the only way we're going to be able to come out of this situation. And we let you see the videos of how effectively the police are behaving. Or ex-functionaries of the police. They're taking a very aggressive attitude. Very proud to be here. They're saying goodbye. Thank you for coming. Remember, he has a política. They're going to leave a link on this. And we'll see you next time. All right, guys. That's it. Gotta have that dun dun. Bye.